Tonight, we know that threat at local targets over the weekend is being investigated as terrorism. News Force Adria Goins joins us with details. And Adria, Metro targets were not the only ones targeted. In fact, you were here working this weekend when that was sent to our newsroom. When it all played out, Jolene, Oklahoma City Police forwarded that email we received of the bomb threat at area target stores to the United States Joint Terrorism Task Force to investigate. It turns out other cities and companies also received threats. Shoppers confused by the chaos caused by bomb threats at Metro Target store Saturday. There's something going on, but they're not telling us. Seven store locations targeted in this email sent to News 4 and other media outlets. The email says time is ticking, stating two Metro locations have bombs in them. News 4 received the email at 440 Saturday afternoon. At the same time in Lafayette, Louisiana, our sister station found a similar email in its inbox. There was an active threat at both target locations in Lafayette. Um, we were, we were uh, sent officers to each location. They responded to uh, the locations and they got with the staff along with the Lafayette uh, Fire Police Department, Fire Department as well. Locations in Louisiana and Oklahoma City were cleared and no bombs were found. News 4 also obtained unverified emails reportedly sent by the same sender also making threats towards Anheuser-Busch, Dylan Mulvaney, and Coles on the same day as the Target bomb threat emails. Some of the threats claim to be in response to Target's launch of an LGBTQ plus collection for Pride Month, something the company has supported for years. Stores in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Utah have received bomb threats in recent weeks, too, prompting the company to send this statement saying we are making adjustments to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. They went on to say, we are moving forward with our continuing commitment to the LGBTQIA plus community and standing with them as we celebrate Pride Month. Pride gear still prominent in both Oklahoma City metro locations, News 4 visited Monday. Well, the threatening email we received also mentioned the date of the Oklahoma City bombing, April 19, 1995. The National Memorial Museum sent K4 this statement Monday saying the staff at the Oklahoma City National Memorial and Museum continue to remain vigilant in light of the recent threat directed at Target and the mention of the date of the Oklahoma City bombing.